past, you know, Michelle, it's almost like the weather knew that we were all supposed to stay hunkered down for Thanksgiving because it's really providing adverse travel conditions out there with this pouring rain. Yeah, you know, even those thoughts of like trying to get outside and saying hello from a safe distance yeah. to and my in-laws who are very close to us mm -hmm. uh, distance wise yeah. can't even get over there today so that's a bummer yeah. but and you're not going to want to in the rain anyway no so you know maybe later in the weekend would be okay. a time to do that let's take a look at the conditions outside right now and in narragansett we've got some damp roadways this morning for those along the coastline it's a rainy thanksgiving this year and the concern is some of that rain's going to be coming down heavy at times it's off and on all day downpours thunderstorms a concern the weekend forecast though is looking mainly dry with temperatures running just a little bit warmer than normal. Keeping my eye on a potent storm system for next week. Things still look like they're coming together for quite a stormy day from Monday into Tuesday that could bring some heavy rain and some strong winds. And I'm going to show you that in the seven day forecast out the door right now. The rain has moved in. Winds are light, but most of the area seeing these showers now heaviest to the west of us, just west of Hartford and Springfield, and that's all going to be sliding to the north and east. So we've got this uh, rain going to be picking up in intensity, especially by the late morning and then continuing on into the afternoon hours. And you can see the wider view here shows those showers and thunderstorms associated with this system all the way down into Georgia this morning. But closer to home is where we're concerned about some heavier rainfall. And this is just one computer model's take, but they're all showing a decent soaking for us by the end of the day. About a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain with some isolated higher totals. It's about 50 degrees outside in Providence, Taunton, and Smithfield right now. 54 in Newport and 50 57 degrees in westerly winds are light from the uh, south and southeast in most spots, but they will be picking up. It'll be breezy winds that'll be gusting at times up to about 30 miles per hour. No damaging winds expected today. Upper 50s to near 60 degrees through the morning. Rain and downpours becoming more numerous by the end of the morning and continuing on into at least the hour afternoon hours and then heading into the evening some lingering showers, especially early in the evening by eight, nine o'clock. This is out of here and will be drying out for the overnight hours. But let's take a look at what this storm system uh, setup is. We've got a low pressure over the Great Lakes redeveloping center of low pressure going to be right over us in southern New England as the day goes on. And so that's going to keep the rainfall going for us. And this morning again, you can see those showers picking up in intensity through the morning and midday hours. This is right around lunchtime, so very mild from Boston to Providence, upper 50s to lower 60s further north into northern New England being in the 40s for today and then at 5 o'clock this evening still some lingering showers and still close to 60 degrees. As the rain moves out the skies will start to clear and the temperatures late tonight will cool down into the 40s. This isn't terribly cold for a late November night so you wake up Friday morning and the skies are partly cloudy and we'll see that mix of clouds and sunshine in the afternoon going back and forth between partly to mostly cloudy skies on Friday. Here's the seven day forecast. So up Upper 50s still Friday, mild conditions were dry on Saturday, mid 50s and sunny on Sunday in the lower 50s. A Monday into Tuesday again, that storm system could be a potent one, low pressure to the west of us again, but this one I'm going to be bringing up some even heavier rainfall and the potential for damaging wind gusts with this storm system. The timing of those strongest wind gusts right now looks to be Monday night into Tuesday morning, but that timing may change a little bit, so definitely check back in with us for updates.